All right, guys, today we are going to be testing rechargeable batteries. And we're going to see which ones have, or which ones last the longest, which ones are the best. I did a test just like this with regular batteries. A lot of people wanted me to do it with uh, rechargeables. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I have eight batteries. I only have seven in here. And then the eighth battery is, uh, the brand is... Actually, you know, I don't even know what the brand is because it literally just says double A battery. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the eighth one charges with a USB-C while the rest of them charge like with a regular charger. So when I bought this, uh, this battery, I thought that even though it charged with a USB-C, I thought that maybe it would just be kind of like dual charging, like you could do it this way or you could put it inside of a charger and it would be fine. Turns out that is not the case whatsoever because I put one of these batteries inside of the charger and it instantly started pouring smoke out of the charging port and also glowing red. And then I pulled it out of the charger and then it made like a weird sound. And then I threw it outside because I thought it was going to explode. So these will not be a part of this first test, unfortunately. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a capacity test. This charger is gonna charge them up and then take and then uh, discharge them, and then it'll tell us uh, how many milliamp hours each battery is, and we'll see which one uh, is the highest. So we have Amazon Basics. I think this is D. Lee Pow, possibly Rayovac EBL Power L Power Owl <laughs> Duracell and Energizer. So we are going to just just plug this in. We'll set it to the condition mode. That is what's going to charge them up and discharge them. And this process is probably gonna take about uh, 12 to 14 hours. And we'll see which one has the most, the highest capacity. All right, so the results of our first test are in. And, kind of surprising. So, the Amazon Basics, they claim 2400 milliamp hours. Actually, they have 2402. So almost right on. The D. Lee Powell, they claim a bold 3300, but in reality, they only got 1808. So that's like almost half. <laughs> Rayovac only claim they only claimed 1350. They actually have 1311. EBL, they claim 2800, but they only have 2176. The Power Owl, they claim 2800, but they only have 2295. And then we have Duracell coming in to beat everybody. They claim 2500, but in reality, they have 2664. That's the biggest one of them all. That is a fly in the bug zapper. Next up, we have Energizer. They claim only 1300, but they have 1349. And then this one, which I said before, is just is just labeled double A battery. It is actually called Fita Notch, I think is how it was pronounced. And they claim 2600, but obviously we don't know because we can't test it. What's surprising to me from that is that all of the I, th I figured all of these would have roughly would be rated for roughly the same capacity since they're all double A's and they're all about the same size. I didn't realize that. I think it's Rayovac. And Energizer, yeah, Rayovac and Energizer are both just barely, barely rated over a thousand milliamp hours. You have the same space to work with as everybody else, so why not, uh, why not take advantage of that space and up your capacity? So pretty interesting results so far. All right, so now for the next stage of testing, uh, just like we did with the regular, uh, the regular batteries, we're gonna do the fan test. <laughs> I have these things arranged from. The one with the most capacity to the least capacity, with the exception that the very last one is the uh, fit a notch or whatever, the one that we couldn't test the capacity of. So that one's kind of an outlier, but from here to here, if the capacity test uh, is true and the ba these batteries last as long as the capacities, then the fans should die in this order, as we, all the way down. Uh, so we'll see. So I'm gonna start my timer and then we'll we'll see how quickly they die.
All right, now we're just in for the long haul. All right, so I think these are gonna be a little bit different because uh, this one, the fit a notch or whatever, it just stopped at two hours and 23 minutes. Uh, but whenever I did the, the regular batteries, they would, each thing would, like each fan would like, you know, start to slow down and get slower and slower and slower, then it would stop. This seemed like it was going perfectly strong and then it just, boom, dead and just quit. So maybe these rechargeables, maybe that's the way that they're going to die. Maybe they'll, uh, there is no slowing down. Maybe they just, bam, quit. So, interesting. All right, the data is in. So let me go over the uh, times and then we'll go over um, all of the data. So, fit and itch, uh, two hours and 23 minutes. Rayovac, two hours and 40 minutes. Energizer, three hours and 25 minutes. Dealey Pal, three hours and 44 minutes. EBL, four hours and 31 minutes. Uh, Power Owl, five hours even. And then right here at the end, so you can see all the way up to here, everything, since I put everything based on capacity, they all died in that order, as you would expect, up to th this point right here. It should have gone based on capacity, Amazon, then Duracell. But what happened was, it went Duracell, then Amazon. So, Power Owl was 5 hours, Duracell was 5 hours and 17 minutes, and then Amazon beating Duracell by one minute, five hours and 18 minutes. So, that's actually pretty crazy. Obviously, it's just math. Like if the batteries, if you, if you put them in order based on capacity, whichever ones have the least capacity should die before the ones that have the most capacity. It just logically makes sense. But to me, I just, for some reason, didn't think that was the way it was gonna go. Just, I don't know why, just, I don't know. There's just something about it. I thought that it would maybe, maybe we'd have some random ones. Like maybe some of these batteries weren't. Maybe they might have higher capacities, but maybe they don't last as long or under a load or something. So that was actually kind of refreshing to see that like everything kind of fell into place as you think that it should. So in the beginning, I didn't bring up price just honestly because I forgot about it. So I broke down the price per battery of all of these. And we're going to start here at, the, at this Fido niche or whatever. This battery right here is <laughs> like, has all the strikes against it. This is a trash battery. For one, they claim that their capacity is 2,600 milliamp hours. And because it has that weird charge port and I couldn't use my thing, I couldn't actually test how many milliamp hours it has. So they claim 2,600, but it only lasted, it died first right behind Rayovac and Rayovac only has 1,311 milliamp hours. So we can only assume that it has less than 1,300. So somewhere between 1,000 and 1,300, even though they claim 2,600. And then on top of all that, it is the most expensive battery out of this entire lineup. So it just takes all the wax. It, I can't even recommend that at all. That's just, that, that's trash. So then if we go to Rayovac, they are 249 a battery. Energizer is 280. Dealey Pal is 262. EBL is $2. Power Owl is $1.43. Duracell is three, Duracell is 311. And then Amazon is $2.12 per battery. So another interesting thing to note is that Duracell, one penny shy of being exactly $1 per battery more than Amazon, and Amazon lasts longer. But then if you go to Power Owl, the best value out of all of these, I believe is the Power Owl. Because the Power Owl only lasted 18 minutes less than Amazon, but it was a do it, they're only $1.43 per battery compared to $2.12. So far, pretty interesting results. And something else I'd like to note is that whenever I did this test with the regular batteries, the average runtime amongst all those average batteries or all those regular batteries was five hours and 50 minutes 
with the 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 longest runtime being I think it was seven hours and like forty minutes or something, which was like an, an outlier. It's kind of a that was kind of crazy. And the average with the rechargeable batteries is four hours and two minutes. Pretty much it looks like across the board, you can expect less run times or shorter run times with rechargeable batteries compared to regular batteries. With the upside being that you can just throw these in a charger and then you're good to go again. Kind of a trade-off. So the last test that I wanna do is this uh, charger has a turbo feature for a, for a quick charge. So I tested, I used it to test all of the capacities of these batteries at the beginning of the video. Um, what I wanna do is now, now that they're dead, turbocharge them all and then re-discharge them and see uh, what kind of numbers we get so we can see which batteries are, I guess, like the most accepting of a quick charge, if that makes any sense. So I think that should be interesting. So now we just gotta fire up our charger. Put it on turbo. And we wait. So the fast charging numbers are in, and I'm actually uh, pretty impressed. And I'm happy to report that overall, uh, each battery lost essentially just a very minuscule amount, not nearly as much as I thought. I figured some of these would be like a big difference, but for the most part, they actually did very, very well. So Rayovac started off at 1311, and then after fast charging was 1272 for a loss of only 39 milliamp hours. That's not bad. Energizer was 1349, and then 1322 for a loss of only 27. Dealey Pow started off at 1808, and then was 1744 for a loss of only 64 milliamp hours. EBL was 20, 2176, and then 2028 for a loss of only 148, which is the highest loss out of the out of the whole bunch. Power Owl started off at 2295, ended at 2158 for a loss of only 137. Duracell was 2664, and then 2548 for a loss of only 116. At the top, we have Amazon, which was 2402, and then was only brought down to 2366 for a loss of only 36. So out of this test, as far as which battery can fast charge the closest to its full capacity, Amazon is the clear winner. Duracell still has the highest capacity after fast charging, but Amazon gets closest to its actual full capacity while fast charging. But, I mean, all in all, the, the max was EBL at 148 milliamp hours, which is essentially nothing. So that's actually pretty nice to see that they, they're all, they all handle fast charging very well. Um, I would still say that Power Owl still has to be the best pick just because of the price. So with that being said, there is one more test that we're not going to do in this video because it's going to take too much time, but a huge part of rechargeable batteries is being able to recharge them. And uh, hopefully that they maintain their capacity as you recharge them over and over. Almost all of these batteries claim to have somewhere around a thousand life cycles. And then I forget what percentage they go down after a thousand life cycles. For the next probably year or so, I'm going to put all these batteries uh, through a charge and discharge cycle once a day for the next like year or so. And then we'll come back and see uh, what the capacities are. Stay tuned for that in about a year. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.